really good swing decisions and, and you know last night um got into some good counts really really squared a couple balls up and then today all day long got into some favorable accounts and and didn't leave the zone and really clipped a couple of them seemed like a bit of a struggle for Jay Happ. What were you seeing from him? Uh, I thought he came out. I, I thought the stuff was really good in the first inning where it was the biggest struggle, you know, up over 30 pitches in that first inning. But I thought he threw the ball really well. I thought I thought the life, again, was there on the fastball. I thought he threw some good cut fastballs. Um, they they had a couple good at-bats to extend innings against them. But overall, I thought he threw the ball well and, and managed through uh, what was a, you know, pretty tough and heavy load in that first inning you had an extended conversation with him after he came out in the fifth in the mm -hmm. dugout what was that conversation about oh just within the game nothing um we we're just talking about some um situational stuff huh we we're talking about just some pitch stuff and and uh and yeah positioning of, of certain things Dave, sorry. Aaron, with, with Judge, he had a, he had a couple of good at bats last night, and mm -hmm. he, it seemed like he was kind of you know locking in a little. Why do you think it's so hard for him to kind of stay with that consistently? Today he had a little bit of a, a rough day at the plate. Do you think it's it's just one of those years, or is it any type of lingering thing with him? Or no, no, not one of those years. It's one of it's been a tough couple of weeks. Um, the game's hard. He's not a good. He's a great player one of the game's best and you know really it's just been a couple weeks um you know where he hasn't been locked in but you still look at the body of work you look at um you know some of the games where it's he has really hit into some tough luck and you know that's what we're seeing it's i i still contend it'll be a matter of time before he gets it rolling and and we'll hop on his back and and he'll go through a stretch where he'll really carry us but i think on balance the year has been you know very good and you know up over a 900 um for most of the year it's been a tough couple of weeks where he's grinding through it and he'll get through it bruce Mike Ford with the two out RBI. Here's another guy who we really didn't expect to see much of this year. What about his contribution today? Yeah, it was big. Um, obviously, those two runs there, um, you know, tough lefty on lefty matchup. Um, and, you know, with a the lead there, wanting to stay away from DJ just today. But um, really good to see him uh, get some results. Um, you know, he's been grinding through it a little bit here this last week, but he's a guy he can hit. And uh, he, he's another guy that knows the strike zone and has real power. So um, for him to get a good, really good piece of hit and driving it the other way against a, a tough lefty matchup, uh, you know, it was, a big, it was a big hit in the game, obviously. Larry to the right. Sanchez hit his 10th home run this year against the Orioles. Torres has 13. They're the second set of Yankee teammates to uh, get double-digit home runs in the same season against an opponent. What do you think when you hear something like that? A um, couple of great young players that, um, you know, not only have already done a lot in this game, but, you know, the, the future is very bright, and they're going to do a lot of, I, I think, special things like that. You know, it just so, so happens they've had, um, you know, really good results against the Orioles this year, and, you know, maybe in years to come it'll be, uh, you know, it'll be somebody else, but they're going to do special things in this game. Um, you know, both of those guys continue to grow, and um, and just excited to see what what lies ahead for both those guys roger um you've had some un less heralded guys coming through while some of the bigger stars have struggled if this is gary getting back locked in how impactful do you see that being for your team yeah gary's yeah gary's a game changer offensively um the other team certainly accounts for him when he's when he's locked in the other team you know he's a guy you fear um and you know hopefully we can get him rolling like he's capable of here um down the stretch and what we hope is is some october baseball and um but he's when he's right and controlling the zone he's as lethal as anyone wally to the right aaron um your dominance over the orioles this year may not be unprecedented but it's rather unusual do you have um 
an opinion as to why. I mean, are you guys that much better than them that they couldn't win one game at the last 16? It, you know, it's. I think it's a, it's a little fluky, a little crazy to win that many games against a team, especially after, you know, I think we dropped a couple in the first series against them. And you look across there, and I know they're going through a tough time, obviously, but, you know, they have a lot of, a lot of good players, too, that, you know, especially if you make mistakes to them, they're a team that, that can swing it, and, and they can hit the ball out of the ballpark, too. So, you know, to have that kind of run, things got to line up a little bit for you, but you know, it's also a credit to our guys and I think the quality of team that we are. Anthony to the left. Aaron, will it uh, be green as the opener tomorrow? Uh, we'll talk through that, but I, I would say a good chance of that, yes. Anyone else? Thank you, Aaron.